So here is this uh, really quite striking image by Ted Bertinsky. He does these large scale photographs of uh, man-made landscapes and this is a highway in, in LA and his photos really illustrate the theme from this current incarnation of humanity of reductionism, dissection of systems and I really see this as a, it's really been a, um, a denial or, or an act of disconnect from the connections between us all that link um, all of us as individuals, all of us as um, members of different nations, all of us from, from different perspectives and walks of life. And the growth and rule and colonization of globalized capitalist system, the globalized capitalist system has really driven this disconnect. This huge, now huge system of organizing has really taken over all societies and it's really disrupted the natural links between production and consumption that we always used to be. It's disrupted the connections between labor, laborer and distributor and consumer. Um, totally severed um, the relationship between the site or place of resource extraction and then the location and therefore benefit of the processing of these raw materials. It's really been um, it's been something that has completely, it's been a system that has completely disrupted today's generation from tomorrow's children. And it's really severed our sense of cause and effect. We don't really understand how the things, our choices that we do um, every day actually have impacts um, down the line through, through the generations, but also around the world. And this is how we have climate change occurring today. It's um, death by a thousand cuts, all these little things that we've done without understanding the consequences. And this is how we found, find ourselves now the catalysts of the sixth mass extinction event in the history of life. So this polarization, this disconnection, this siloization has even filtered and filtered through to the way that social movements are happening today. Um, in the 60s, Issues were all connected. People were for everything. They were for a different world. They were for the civil rights movement. They were for women's rights. They wanted environmental justice. All of these issues, just people wanted change. And it's, I look back on those, um, those decades and, you know, I wasn't part of them, but I mean, the images, the heart, the idealism, it's, it's unbelievably compelling and the fact that there was so much solidarity. Um, we, oh, and I, this slide is, is quite, uh, it's quite striking to me today, um, especially in the context of the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, the kind of solidarity that we were seeing um, at that time is, is, is really, um, really impressive. Today, we have a very different scene. I think there is a lot of solidarity, but we've gone through um, but not as much as there was, and we've gone through a significant professionalization of the non-profit scene, the non-governmental scene, and the environmental and um, non-governmental non scene, um, really following a lot of corporate models, um, and the creation of workplaces, organizations, and institutions based on the same frameworks that are causing our problems. And of course, um, you know, the the beautiful Einstein quote is really um, wise. We can't, well, Einstein said, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Um, we really need to think about emulating the capitalist model in the vehicles that we're addressing social change or trying to affect social change. Timing is everything. We have to look across as activists, as people who want social change, to other issues and look for the current events and the issues of the day. Sometimes issues come to a head and um, their time has come and it's really important for all of us to recognize these moments and come out and show our solidarity, um, jump on board, not to appropriate, but to add strength to their moment, to actually give the momentum that we need. Black Lives Matter. Today, it's just, it's just boiling up. Um, and this happens every once in a while in, in America where with these, this deep uh, 
entrenched historical racism kind of raising its head every once in a while. And now is a moment that that is happening. P police are murdering black people. Um, that's happening right now in a country that's supposed to be the leader of the Western world. We have to really come out in solidarity of this of this movement and this and and um, and these people.